What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on noise reduction in Adobe Lightroom. One of you guys requested it, so here it is, and let's just get started. Now, a lot of you guys probably are wondering about noise reduction because in very low light situations, you are going to crank up, you are going to have to crank up your ISO and therefore get a grainy image. Um, but Lightroom does a very good job in actually uh, taking out that noise for you, assuming you're shooting in RAW. When you shoot in JPEG, it does also help to do noise reduction, but as you guys know, a JPEG is already compressed, it's already lossy, and you don't have too much information in there for Lightroom to work with, so it's best to work with RAW, especially if you're shooting in low light situations where you know you're going to have to edit your picture to make it look better. Uh, so let's just get started. Now, if you go to Adobe Lightroom and you go to the Develop module, then you go down to detail, you will see noise reduction. And there are two types of noise reduction. There's luminance uh, noise reduction and there's color noise reduction. And I've already uh, moved my luminance a little bit, but the color is actually always set to 25 by default. And what color noise is, if we go up here to the corner, color noise is, well, it's noise that look like little specks of um, colored pixels. So let's bring that down to zero and you'll see what I mean. You can see there's a little bit more um, colored uh, pixeling in the image, colored noise in the image when I bring it down. So by default, Lightroom already has it to 25 to help you out uh, a little bit. Um, and then there's luminance noise, which is basically the rest of the noise. It's the gray noise that you see in your image. And by default, that is set to zero. Now, when you work, when I work with light, Lightroom at least, I don't mess with my color noise too much unless there is um, very no noticeable amount of colored noise in the image. So I don't really touch that anymore. I leave it at 25 most of the time. But I do mess with luminance when I do want to add noise reduction to my image. So let's bring noise, uh, the luminance noise reduction up a little bit. And as you can see, uh, the little specks in the image are slowly starting to disappear. I actually had to increase the exposure of this image right now just so that you guys could see the noise a little bit better. But you can see that it's already slowly starting to disappear. But the problem you get with noise reduction is it usually softens the image because what I think it does at least is it blurs the pixels together so that you don't get the sharp noise that you get in the image. Uh, so you do lose a little bit of detail, but that is where these detail and contrast sliders come in. Because you're softening the image by adding noise reduction, this detail slider, which is already set to 50 by default, um, tries to save the detail that you uh, potentially lose in the areas that have noise reduction. So if we move that down to zero, um, you, you can see that in this area right here especially, it does get a little bit soft, but as you move it to the right, it does. Uh, you can see it being a little sharper. A little bit of the detail is preserved. Now this contrast is the same thing. You might lose some contrast through um, removing noise in your image, but this contrast slider brings it back. But I don't usually touch that. I usually only really touch this luminance slider to increase or decrease the amount of noise reduction that takes place. Usually that's that's enough to do it for me. And in addition to that, you also have your sharpening tab, which I usually um, change and usually sharpen my image. So that will solve the rest of the sharpening issue. But again, to summarize this video, the colored uh, noise reduction tab is to take out your color noise, which is this stuff, which you can see when I move my color down to zero, but by default it's at 25, which is enough for most of the time, and detail is at 50, which again is also good for most of the time. Now luminance is the gray noise that you will see in your image, and this is the setting that you will need to increase to take out your noise. Again, I don't uh, move detail too much, and I don't move contrast too much, because I am sharpening my image, and that will add the additional sharp sharpness that I want to my image. Uh, so that's it guys, that's all I really have to say for noise reduction. Um, if you liked the video, if you found this helpful, please, you know, give it a thumbs up. Please favorite the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.